Hi there and welcome back. This is an example tutorial, um, just an introduction to some few functionalities that you might have not used before that can be useful for you at your workplace when you work with a lot of reporting on your documents. And say you don't want any blanks on your sheet, rather you'd rather have a number, maybe one, two or three. For now, let's just say zero. So here is our reporting data for item one, two, three, four for their respective weeks. Um, and we want to replace all these blanks, meaning the data that we didn't manage to accumulate or we didn't have anything to report on with blanks. So all you have to do is just highlight that particular area. Go to special. Um, we want to locate in this scenario of blanks. Okay, I'm going to type the zero on one of them. And then notice that you have to press control enter so that everything else can auto populate say for example your data that you populated was multiple rows going down and for those areas without any information you can replace them and auto fall with a specific number those that are blank in this scenario like i said we took zero okay next now that we don't have any blanks the next step will be for us to generate totals for each and every weekly data we want to produce a total for um, all the items for the first week and solely for item one for the entire month. So we're going to have here the monthly total. And here we will have the weekly total. Perfect. To get the total here, the manual method is basically saying sum of all of these data here, or you could easily map. Uh, it costs you sign this plus this plus this plus this. Another or the fastest way actually is to highlight this entire area here because we want to fill all these totals respectively. So all we have to do is say out the cost sign. Enter. So this plus this plus this plus this was added and is equals to five. This two was added, it's equals to five, just like that. Okay, now let's populate the totals for each and every week um, without having to say equals to sum of just the easiest and fastest way. Highlight the entire row there and just say out equals sign and should give you a total as well. So now we have our totals populated for each week and totals populated for the month. Okay, let's move along. Okay. Moving along, say now we want to represent the status that were received here in a form of a line chart, in particular a sparkle chart. So we are going to highlight a particular row, excluding the, the totals, and represent each chart for the four items. What one can do is select the blank space, insert, line, um, so you will create a sparkle line under the sparkle tab. In terms of location range, it's where we selected that blank space area there, um, which is definitely proportional to the line that we want to work with here. So all we have to do is just select our range. It's this range here. The location area is selected. If we say OK, a trend should show us how our data is moving. So as you can see, we started at 3, went to 6, all the way to 9, then back to 7. Hence, our trend looks like that. You can simply drag it down to show you until item 4. If you want to see your totals, you can also do that respectively. Now, let's edit these sparkle charts. Here's a contextual tab that just popped up. And we can represent its high points using um, by just taking it there. If you go to your mark color, we can make our high points green because high usually is positive. And then we can make the low points red. And just change the mark there, low points, let us make them red. So if one wanted to use such a reporting system for their data of a list of activities that were all the items, for example, Items can represent anything that's respective or um, that can resonate with what you do personally. And the figures here were added and let's say a scale is 10. So we achieved three out of 10 here, six out of 10. 
Um, yeah, basically out of all seeing 10 is the target market that we wanted to achieve. And nine, it's positive as it's at the top and three, it's red. And it's something that we don't really want to achieve because it's pretty much low comp in relative or respective to 10. <sighs> okay, guys, now let us look at an if statement as it is over there. It's a pretty um, straightforward example. And this just to give you an ex illustration of how we can use an if statement to analyze our data. So say, for example, we want to rate these values according to a specific metrics, this time around using stars. Um, and three stars will be for anything that is above 24, two stars for anything that is above 15, that's below 24. And if, if, it's, if it's below 15, we are just going to use a single star. We are going to say equals to next would be the if statement. The total of our monthly, and we are going to say if it's greater than 24, please return a value which you don't recognize as Excel, so you're going to put it in between quotation marks three stars. Close quotation, close the argument. Let's open the second one. If statement again, if this value is less than 24, but it's greater than 15. This time around, please return two stars, close that argument and quotation marks. Else, just return one star if it's below 15. I'm happy. Enter. Yes. If we drag this down, you'll notice the trend. Perfect. So since well, 25 is greater than 24, we got three stars. Five is less than 15, we got one star. 12 is less than 15, we got one star. And 19 is greater than 15, but less than 24 hands, we got only two stars. Well, that's it. Just to recap, we started with our data table here that had a lot of blanks, meaning some unrecorded data that we wanted to analyze. So we took our best assumption and filled all the blanks with zero. We made use of the this go to find special and then we used the find blanks, entered zero, control enter, auto for the rest. Next, we used the alt equals to um, shortcut, or you could have just said sum of, that also works. So we added the items in, in form of weeks and items in a form of monthly as well. Thirdly, we added a sparkle trend, and then we also showed our high and low points. And lastly, we used if statement to grade our data. I really hope that makes sense. Please look forward for more examples as we proceed. Um, examples will become more intense and challenging. Till next time, bye.